Welcome to today's video on Podrine Codes. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to do a cool drawn animation with um, SVG, with SVG pads. It's not as difficult as it looks, it's really quite simple. I'm going to explain what stroke dash array and what stroke dash offset is. In the description I have a blog post over on Podrine.com, PodrineCodes.com that you can check out and it goes into a little bit more detail but it basically set if you can do this video. So one code pen as per usual. We're gonna hand code the SVG, which uh, a lot of people don't do because they're scared. Um, set up our dimensions. We'll go with width height, uh, 400, 100. Set up our view box, which is good for responsive design, which is very important these days. Uh, we let that set to um, same dimensions. Close out our SVG. What we want to do then is to draw a path. Uh, we do D, D and path means draw. We can do M, which means move, zero, zero. We'll keep it in the top corner. And then we can do H, H means horizontal, 300. We can then close this path. And right, we need to set our stroke here. Our stroke can be black, actually, be good. That should give us a line. Oh, we need to set a stroke width as well. So stroke dash width. Let's set to something quite big. So let's set to 15. So our line is nice and visible. Okay, there's our line. That is the first step done. Uh, another good thing to do is, which I learned from keyframers. If you don't know, it's two guys down on YouTube. One, one works for Microsoft, the other works for CodePen. They're both uh, really, really good developers, and a trick they did was, it was not really a trick, it's just something they didn't know. You set pat length. You can set pat length on any pat, which makes the animation we're going to do a lot easier. Before, you had to use, use like JavaScript and stuff to figure it out. Thank God, we don't have to do that anymore. So, target our pat. Now, we can use stroke dash array. Now, stroke dash array kind of breaks up your pat into dashes. So at the moment, it's one continuous white line. Now, if we were to set the stroke dash array to 10, it is still one continuous white or uh, black line, sorry. So we can set this to two. So if you think about it, it's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. It basically splits it up into gaps of two. And then like, it'd be the same if you did one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's actually a gap there. So, and over on Polaran Codes, I have like a little diagram thing that makes visualizing it easier. What we can do though, is we can set our, say our stroke dash ray, put it something a bit bigger to two. Now, what if we wanted to start on the gap instead of the dash, we can then use our other attribute, which is stroke dash offset. And we can set this to the same as stroke dash ray, so two. And then this instead will move our basically offset it by one. Well, offset it by two, but two two divided by two is once offset it by one. And so we can use this to create a drawn effect. Now the way we do this is let's comment this out. We'll set our dash ray to the same length as our path, which is ten. And then we want to offset that by one. So we we'll also set this to ten. Okay, so that gives us a blank screen. So what you can do then is using some very basic CSS, do add keyframes, animation. Oh, no, not, we won't call it animation. That's a terrible name. We call it draw. You can do from and to, which is the same as 0% to 100%. So you're going to do from stroke dash offset. You can probably don't even need from here, but I think it makes it a lot clearer. So... You can do this. So from 10, we want to put it to zero like this. And now we want to apply this on our path element. So we can do animation. What do we call it? We call it a draw. How long? Two seconds. Ease. We put it to ease. And then we can do forward so it ends when it starts. And look what you have. So all it is doing is basically animating in or dash, but it looks like it's drawn it. You can do this with any SVG path. Even if you have a big SVG with loads of paths, 
you can just once you have the pattern length set on them you can just target them in your, all of them in your css and do like a really cool drawing effect i've done articles in this over on log rock and stuff but this is like the core knowledge that you need to know so i if you enjoyed this video please subscribe or at least hit the like button and also drop a comment below if you want me to go into maybe more about how you do svg paths or if you want me to talk about or if you want me to talk about javascript or react i have knowledge in that area too or leave a comment calling me dickhead it's up to you <laughs> have a good day guys see ya